Hi, I'm Katie Prock, and I'm so excited to have my piece, Nameless Women, uh, included in the Made in VA exhibition here at Virginia MoCA. This is a piece that I made to kind of explore my own family history. You'll see a lot of photos that are uh, sort of older looking, and those are images that I pulled from my family albums. I got them from my mom and my grandmas. Um, and then you'll also see photos that look a little more contemporary, and those are the ones that I made. And then as I was working, I decided they needed to be kind of together. They needed to be combined somehow. So I decided to use collage to do that. I'm a collage artist and a bookmaker. So I tried to make this piece into a book that you would read kind of traditionally flipping through pages, but that didn't really feel right. And so what I ended up doing is taking all the spreads and ripping them in half and sewing them together with bookbinding stitches, uh, but as a kind of a simultaneous book reading experience. So I think of this piece as a book that you read all at once and you get sort of the content of every single page in the, the piece as a whole. So it's something that you kind of have to take your time with. It's important to get close and see the little details, but it's also important to kind of step back and take it in as a whole. Uh, and that's part of why I left all of these threads dangling is because it really does encourage you to view the piece as a form within itself rather than just the individual pages. You're also thinking about the form. You're thinking about bookmaking because of the stitches and collage as well. Um, the details are some of my favorite things though, even though I do encourage people to take a step back and look at the whole thing. Um, you'll see handwriting, you'll see things that I took from the backs of photographs. I did a lot of scanning to create this piece. And so you'll see my handwriting, you'll see the handwriting of my mother and my grandmother's, kind of the female family historians. And so it's a really special piece to me because it does connect to my family history. Uh, but I think it's also more universal than that and kind of can relate to anybody who's examining their family history and thinking about how our past does inform us, but we also all have to kind of make our own choices and carve our own path in the world. Uh, so this piece is really about identity, it's about family history, um, and especially for me, it's about my relationship with my mother going back generations.